Welcome back to another Naked Truth with me, Clara Hermit, and um, my cat. You're so cute! I want to say a massive thank you for all the love on last week's video. I want to talk about anxiety. We get so used to, I think, seeing this uh, one view of someone via social media that our automatic assumption is that that person's life is good, that everything's great, they seem so happy, but two things can coexist at the same time. Um, for example, like I would say that my life is pretty good right now, but I have anxiety pretty much all the time. Um, it's something that I guess I've had for a long time that I wasn't even really aware of and it's only when I started to have time without feeling anxious that I realised that I was just feeling anxious pretty much the whole time. I used to say that like, I just feel doomed, I just feel doomed, like I don't understand why I feel like I, that's how I used to explain it and that felt really heavy. I realised that I suffer with anxiety, that it's actually, it can be so paralysing and that um, over the years there's been so many times where I haven't done things, I haven't gone places, um, I haven't seen things through, things I've started here on YouTube or in other areas of my life because inside I was so anxious. Feeling follows thought. If I'm feeling anxious, if I'm feeling anxious there must be thought behind it but sometimes like with me the thoughts that have caused it or and the experiences that have given me the beliefs and thoughts that I have to cause anxiety it happened quite a long time ago. They weren't processed or dealt with at the time. So it feels like I've just been left with anxiety, but actually those thoughts and beliefs are there. Maybe they're not in my conscious mind all the time, but they're there in my subconscious. And because they're there, I'm experiencing all of this anxiety. Even today, I got up and I feel like, I feel heavy and I feel it's in here, this kind of like, tightness in my chest and in my throat and I'm thinking oh what's going to go wrong today everything's going to and then I've got to do this and I've got to do that and I'm like hold on a second I have my radio show today I love radio why am I feeling anxious about radio and then my head goes because I might fail because I might not be good enough because it might sound rubbish because someone might not turn up and all of this stuff is going on and on and on in my head and all of it makes me feel really, really anxious. In the past, I didn't realise I had a choice. I just thought, that was it. You know, this is it. This is me. And that's where kind of whether we choose to create our life um, unconsciously or consciously comes into play. Because then I started to realise, hold on a second, I don't have to have these thoughts. I don't have to believe these thoughts, these things that appear in my head where it's like, you might mess up today or this might go wrong or that might go wrong. What I now do is the voice in my head now goes, no, hold on a second. No, 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 no. We're not going there. That's not going to happen. What if, and I put an alternative into my mind. Um, so even then I can still feel anxious, but I have to go against that feeling. I have to challenge myself and push myself outside of my comfort zone. And what I find so interesting when it comes to me with anxiety, it might be different for other people, but I could be feeling it. And then something happens like, um, I go and do some exercise or I uh, have a conversation with somebody or I go to work and by the time I've finished the work, whatever it is, it could be interviewing somebody, it could be um, doing my radio show, I could feel anxious at the start. By the time I'm finished, I've had such a good time, that feeling is completely gone. That anxiety is completely gone and I'm free of it. So I know it's not my permanent state. I know that it can change by the experience that I'm having, I know that it's something that I've been so conditioned with the thoughts and beliefs that give me that anxiety, that it's something that is regularly there for me, but I also notice that I can challenge it, that I, within my mind, can challenge the thoughts that I'm having that cause that anxiety for me. And whereas before I used to let people down um, because it was so paralyzing, because I didn't, I couldn't, you know, I didn't want to leave my house. I, I didn't want to go and do things, but now I can challenge it and now I can push against it. So I go and do those things with anxiety rather than allowing it to stop me from doing things. And what I've started to come to realize, and um, someone kind of made me think about this, is when I take away the thoughts that go with the anxiety, so the thoughts of like, this is gonna go wrong, the thoughts of worry, the thoughts of fear, um, the feeling and the energy of anxiety minus the thoughts 
is pretty much from what I can work out exactly the same as excitement so it's a really good energy if I take away the negative connotations which are caused by my mind so our minds they're tricky they're real 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 tricky there's some days I wake up and I'm like oh no and I just feel this like heavy kind of fear and worry anxiety um, about what's going to happen and I feel doomed like that's the way to explain it I feel like my day my life I am doomed but then when I question that I am doomed am I doomed and I start to look at my life and look at the things around me um, it's not true so my mind is trying to get me to believe something that isn't true my mind is producing thoughts that aren't always true and I have the power to, to decide whether or not I'm going to believe that my life is doomed. If I walk around with the belief my life is doomed, the way I act, the way I present myself, all of those things alone are, are going to help me fulfill that belief. It's going to become a uh, self-perpetuating cycle that I'm going to be stuck in um, because I'll continue to create situations that back up my belief that my life is doomed. So it's really key that if you're in a place right now where you're not particularly happy, where you don't like the way your life is going, where things don't seem to be working out for you, that you get really in tune with yourself, that you take responsibility, that you hold your hand up and take responsibility for who you are and the role that you're playing in your own life. I could be like, my mum and my sister died, life is shit, it's never going to be any better, um, nobody loves me, I'm always going to be lonely, I'm always going to be on my own. And these are things that I've actually thought and these are things that I've actually felt and believed. And it, they just, they made me feel like, I always felt like there was this confrontation between the two. There was like me, who was like, no, but that can't be true. And then this kind of like, my mind like, yeah, that's true. No one loves you. You're rubbish. You're a failure. You can't succeed. Um, and so there's like these two battling sides. I realise that if I'm going to blame outside circumstances for my situation, for the things I don't like about it, for the things I'm not happy about, then I'm just giving away my power and I'm basically saying I have no control in this, there's nothing I can do to change it, it is the way it is. But if I say, hold on a second, how have I been thinking? How have I been reacting? How have I been feeling in all of these situations for all of this time? What happens if I change that? What happens if I change my belief system? What happens if I change my thoughts? then the way that I feel starts to change, the way that I act starts to change. People want to be around me more, people take notice of what I'm doing because they can feel that positivity, they can feel that energy that, hold on, this girl, is she's, she's talking her truth. She's not pretending to be somebody, she's not miserable underneath but pretending to be happy. She's none of those things, she's just saying, here I am. I think that in this day and age, we're very good at showing this polished, perfect images um, of our lives, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, but we don't want to talk about the truth. We don't want to talk about what's really going on and what's really happening. And I spoke about it in the last video and I'll say it again in this one, talking is so important because if I hadn't told you today that I spend a lot of my life feeling anxious, would you have known? And you could be sitting there working with me, you could be someone that I've met recently who's a friend, anyone that's around me, and you could be feeling the same way, you could be having this underlying anxiety, but yet you're presenting to the world because you feel that's what you're supposed to do as this happy, bubbly person, because that's what you're told you have to be all the time. But if you just said to me, do you know what, I feel really anxious today, I would say, yeah, me too, or, oh, I was feeling like that last week, um, why don't you try this, have you read this book, what I do is this, and if we started to have those conversations, if we started to be and live, like, as humans, as opposed to as machines, I think that this world would be so different if we started to show our truth, our vulnerability, our honesty, and just be like, bam, in life, it's being positive and, uh, and happy is, is great, but they're not consistent, like these consistent magical states that you can achieve because you're human, you have ups, you have downs, things happen, you have to process them, how you react to them and what you allow them to allow you to believe about yourself and your life is up to you, it's completely up to you. Someone dies, it's happened to me twice, my mum died, my sister died. My mum died when I was a kid, might have been out of my control, my sister died. When my sister died, I was like, 
I, I could feel it, I could feel it. Right, this is my choice. I can go down, I can go down, and this can be the thing that drags me down and pulls me down and is my excuse forever to never be successful, to never fulfill my potential and to never even try. Alternatively, I can say, my mum and my sister don't have the opportunity to be here, I do. And all my sister wanted to p pass on to me was peace and love, and that was like her whole thing. So I'm here, they're not here. Why don't I just go for it? Why don't I just try and find a new way to be and a new way to exist? And that's been like nearly seven years since my sister passed away. Nearly seven whole entire years. And it's been a constant journey. It's been about reading, it's been about growth, it's been about talking to people, it's been about having therapy. Therapy is good for you, about coaching um, and about so much like self exploration. Anxiety is very real, it's not a nice thing to live with and it is crippling, paralyzing, and it can literally take a grip of your whole entire life. But you have to understand where it stems from and where it comes from is here. So if you're in the grips of anxiety and if you're struggling with anxiety, the biggest thing that I could ever advise you to do would be to go and seek some kind of talking therapy. Go and talk to somebody, go and speak to somebody. Even if you don't wanna to talk to a therapist at first, a friend, a family member, because trying to live with it on your own without any kind of support or any kind of help, that's really difficult. No. And there is a knowing that when you want help, you know deep within inside yourself that with other people's help, I have the power to overcome this. And even when you're in the grips of anxiety really badly, you have to have that knowing and have that belief, even if you write it and you stick it all over the place so you can't escape it, so you don't forget it, because it is easy to forget those things. Thanks for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed this Naked Truth. I shall be back with another one next week. Please remember to like, share if you want to, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Drop comments in the box below and don't forget I write blogs as well, clarahermit.co.uk. Peace out, A-Town down, we out, cha.